Woo, King Cobra. Look at the crowd we got behind us. Just look around. Wow. <laughs> look at people, they're scared of the King Cobra. Woo. I'm Jack Randall. Oh, bam. See that, that was crazy cool. I'm finding every animal on the planet. Whoa. I'm in the wild, I think it's down here. Whoa, Up close and personal. And a massive oh. snake. Okay, there's a scorpion on my arm. This is just remarkable. Look at that. Reticulated python in the water. Come on, let's go. I'm in Sumatra with Samiko, an organization on the front lines of conserving some of the most endangered species on the planet. Right, it's my first day in Sumatra. I'm gonna be working with Bobby Handoko from the Sumatra Eco Project, who's got a conservation initiative, trying to monitor populations of all the different wildlife. The reason we've come to Sumatra as a team, Made in the Wild, is because we believe in biodiversity and we believe in protecting that whole diversity of animals. There's not many places in the world where we have so many critically endangered species. It really is quite a biodiverse area. The Samiko team are based right by the Gunung Lusa National Park. It's a sanctuary for wildlife. But outside it, the pristine rainforest is getting fragmented from a growing number of people supporting the palm oil industry. Because of this, Samiko are working round the clock on animal rescues in and around the communities. And what caught my attention was snakes. And this place is teeming with them. You cannot believe this. I'm in Sumatra the first night and we've got a snake call. We've heard there's a python in somebody's house. So we're on to go and get it. Off we go. This is cool. This is my first retic. Very small little reticulated python. At this size, you never know if they're gonna be biting or not. Woohoo! Okay. Reticulated python. Wow! These guys get massive, over five meters, maybe even eight meters length. This is a little baby. Managed to find himself in here looking for the chickens. They love to eat chickens at this size. You can see how strong they are. Just coming round me, constricting. But I'm gonna let go of you to see if you can relax. Relax, mate. Relax. Let me just untangle this. I look at the coloration of these guys, though. Absolutely gorgeous python. Obviously a constrictor, non-venomous snake. But coming out at night, they're quite active at night. Whoa, a little kind of a little feisty. Come on, relax, relax, relax. Wow, okay, starting to calm down. I do have to be a little bit careful because still even at this size, their bite will hurt a little bit. The longest snake in the world. There have been incidences when people do get bitten and eaten by reticulated python. This is just a little baby. Look how relaxed that is. It's almost like a scrub pipe in Australia where I feel like I can just literally kiss him on the head and nothing will happen. I know this is actually genuinely a dream come true, you know, from finding one in the wild. This is technically in the wild and actually rescuing it, say, ow! Yo, you little bugger! Oh, as I was saying, they really relaxed. Python absolutely just nailed me. The last moment I was actually appreciating you. If that was a bigger snake, I'd be in serious trouble. <laughs> well, it really is still a dream come true. To get bitten by a snake, it seems to be one of those things that happens when I rescue snakes. And this one's given me a little cheeky bite to say thank you. There you are, reticulated python. Had a little bite, we're gonna release you once we worked out exactly where you're gonna be going. Thank you. I think you have the honors to release yeah. this reticulated python up this tree. Look at that. Gorgeous. All right, Andy. Woo! Woo. Good yeah. job, yeah. yeah. One night in and one snake bite. That better be the last one because today's mission is for one of the most feared snakes in the world, the King Cobra. 
As an endangered species, it's top priority for Samiko. And it's currently the nesting season for the cobras, a time when these snakes are most vulnerable. Today, I join the team's king cobra specialist on a daily patrol. This is Ipo, Bushman, king cobra specialist. He's got the king cobra tattoo on his arm. This is the nesting season, and it may be that the babies have hatched, and we could see lots of babies. It'd be awesome if we did. The chances are that there's actually a queen cobra. The queen is obviously the mother king cobra. Oh, yeah, there you go. Bronze back during the day. Come. Very bitey snake, as we've seen these guys before. Ah, it's a bronze back snake, not venomous. But look at the way they flare up. He's pretending he's much bigger than he actually is. Love it. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, mate, don't, don't try and bite me. He's going to 100%. But that's a good find. Whoa. Wow, they're seriously bitey, these guys. They just want to go at everything. Ah. Blimey, stop it! Ah, oh, he's nailed me. Look at that cheeky little bronze back. He really wants to chew on me. Oh, cheeky. Thing is, that will just keep biting me. Just keep going. Doesn't hurt. Doesn't make you bleed. Non-venomous snake. It's a beautiful snake, though. I mean, it's quite a bit decent-sized bronze back. And look at those scales like coming, coming out. Actually, look, it has made me bleed a little bit. Very small, but it's definitely got very sharp teeth to be able to grab on and grab hold of frogs and then obviously constricts it. But really quite a beautiful snake. It's like a lot of the tree snakes, they can inflate their scales and show some of their colorations. Nice and blue, really beautiful. Love it. Anyway, release the snake back in, in, into the inventory. Yeah, yeah, more better. The fact that there are snakes around is a good sign because king cobras, they eat other snakes. So we're in the right habitat for sure. Let's keep going. Sorry. So sorry. We found shed of a king cobra. This is a queen because this here is a nest. It's vacated that nest. Lots of babies would have hatched very recently because that shed is really fresh. Look at the size of those ventral scales. And look, there's another bit there, wow. Jeez, look at the size of those scales. Huge dorsal scales. So this is the nest. All this is done purposely by the queen cobra. But actually, just looking now to see if there's any little babies left over, because you never know, there could be. No other snake actually builds a nest. They really are quite maternal animals. They stay there the whole time for over two months until the eggs hatch, and keeping the temperature in the perfect conditions. Right under here. Ah, oh, no. I don't think there's anything in there. That's a shame. We've just missed the hatching of the baby king cobras. Just checked in there to see if there was any remaining ones in there. They seem to have all gone. It's quite intricate. It's quite a weird feeling as well, the fact that there was a big queen cobra here and all these babies and putting my hand in there. But definitely not, none left, unfortunately. Finding a nest like this is actually good news for e the team. It means the queen has been successful and the eggs have hatched without being disturbed by development problem now for this snake and many others nesting in the area. They're probably now on the move and this means king cobras are commonly encountered in the nearby settlements. So we need to check by for any recent sightings. We've come down from the rainforest down through the area. We're now in a palm oil plantation. King cobra come from the rainforest and come down here looking for some easy food. Rats, mice, chickens, all sorts of different animals to feed on around here. Okay, well, let's keep going. Ipo as well is a, is a snake man around here. So if there's a king cobra, people will let us know if there is one around. Oh, 
Snake! Oh my! Okay, King Cobra. This is a King Cobra. Wow, can you believe this? Look at the way he's hooding out. Look at that, incredible. The way this snake follows your movement. He's standing his ground. That is unbelievable. This is the longest venomous snake in the world. Woo! Wow, okay, King Cobra. Woo! Okay, I've got a very short snake hook. Crazy. A King Cobra by the tail. This is unbelievable. Epo, this is mad. We're going to move him around this way. Move him around this way. Woo! Look at that hood. That's incredible. That's what this snake is famous for. They come into these local areas looking for food. There's so much food and also chickens. They will still eat warm-blooded prey, but they do specialize in eating snakes. Oh man. But actually, when you start to relax with this snake, you can see not hurting out anymore. Look at the crowd we've got behind us. Just look around. Wow. <laughs> Local people, they're scared of a king cobra. They probably think we're crazy, but actually, we're gonna save this snake. I can't believe it. The longest venomous snake in the world. He's definitely taking me around this auditorium. Yes, the King Cobra. Beautiful animal, gorgeous. People, should we bag this snake and release him to the jungle? <laughs> Boom, <laughs> okay, okay. You okay? Woo. Ebo has been working with snakes his whole life. And he, in this area, he's well known as the snake man, the cobra man. He's got the, the cobra tattoo on his arm. He's worked with these King Cobras. Every other week, there's a King Cobra call. He hears of one. Oh, and he releases them back into the bush. Straight into the, okay. Let's be careful, really careful. Yeah, woo -hoo. Ippo, what a good job. Cannot believe that. Man, I'm sweating. It's really to start to relax. Getting to know a King Cobra and understanding its behavior, it really is quite remarkable. But what's amazing, we found this snake, an absolute beauty. We're gonna release this guy back into the bush, back into the rainforest. People are scared of these snakes, they'll kill them. Wow, okay, what a day, I cannot believe that. Look at me, I'm sweating. What? And he made me I'm happy, I'm happy you found my snake. Let's go. just arrived into the town in Sumatra where there's a slow loris to be rescued. Slow loris, really cute primate, actually a venomous animal. And the person that's got that slow loris is actually surrendering the animal to the police. 